There's just something about Netflix right now. They only green light. They're like, hey, Netflix, we have a, a show for you, okay? It's about um, cooking food with a blindfold on. Here's $100 million. Here's nine seasons. Here's front page promotion. It's a show about baking cookies, but if you lose, you have to take an item of clothing off. It's called strip loin. At the end of the show, whoever is the most naked loses. Holy cow. Here's our entire free cash flow from 2021. Could I possibly, we'll put someone on this. Uh, I'm trying to think about who would be a great host for this. Alton Brown is busy doing 900 television shows right now where he doesn't pick up so much as a single spatula. He just, you know, looks good in a suit and tells me what the hell like a Burr Blanc is. But that we can find somebody, don't get me wrong. Maybe like Alfonso Ribeiro, most famous for playing Carlton in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Then you go to Netflix and you're like, Netflix, Netflix, hear me out here, okay? I have a show, you're gonna be really pissed off to begin with, okay? Because it's fiction. And then they're already, they're shuffling their papers. I'm out of here. Fiction? A fig, a story? I don't think so. And then you're like, wait, Reed Hastings, CEO of Netflix, don't go, don't go. Because it's a story of fiction about the Sinaloa drug cartel. And they're like, whoa, here's $100 trillion. Would you like to use the Narcos branding for this completely unrelated? It, I think Netflix is like the, it's the terminus of algorithm driven content design. Like they, they've turned Spider-Man versus Elsa content farming into like a multi-billion dollar business because now it feels like the only shows that are on the platform are cooking reality television pro uh, programs hgtv knockoffs about like you know selling your house or they're not even about selling your house now it's just about real estate agents behaving badly while selling houses it's like a keeping up with the kardashians meets the property brothers sort of thing and then shows about the sinaloa drug cartel and that's it and Stranger Things, okay, and so I'm, that's not, Stranger Things is no longer my cup of tea, but I, I'll, it, they're, they're trying. You're absolutely right. We've got to merge these ideas. What about a cooking show where the contestants cook crystal meth? That would be fantastic. Jesse. <laughs> Dude, what, that, that could work as an SNL sketch, which is an insult, not a compliment, of course, but... Right after the sketch about how they try to get you to buy the, the special at the restaurant by spinning you a yarn, the chef got these rutabagas out of his own private penthouse garden. They were lovingly crafted with a Japanese katana folded 40,000 times. Pickled in a homemade vinegar, the chef created himself from old red wine kept in oak casks. Oh, that sounds great. Anyway, we'll have three chicken sandwiches with curly fries, please. Um, so right after that sketch, you could have Walter White is on um, Chopped with Jesse Pinkman and they're cooking crystal meth. Your uh, chefs, without further ado, please open up your mystery basket. Your ingredients, Sudafed DM, baking soda, lime, and chili pepper. You have 30 minutes. So immediately I'm thinking crystal meth, okay? So I know it's, every time I watch this show, they're always like, I'm gonna make crystal meth. And I'm like, no, you don't have time. The ice cream machine always breaks, but here I am making crystal meth on Albuquerque Chopped. I don't know anything about crystal meth, by the way. Someone said you can't list the ingredients. It's against the American law. I don't know what's in crystal meth. Definitely some form of cold medicine because that's why I'm no longer able to buy it at the grocery store without a permission slip from a doctor. I assume it, it has um, both baking soda and vinegar in it in order to give it that bubbling type reaction. Little chili pee. It's my ADHD meds plus one mystery ingredient. That must be true, right? That sounds true. Sounds pretty true to me. I mean, I, I saw an episode of the, the show Drugs, Inc. where a, a dude was making crystal meth in the woods. And like, he was just, they were talking about this guy like he's like the, the Walter White of the Midwest, right? He was literally just like mixing shit with like a paper funnel and then putting it in two liter Sprite bottles and burying it next to a tree in the woods and then coming back whenever it was done. So it can't be that hard. It's called science.
I mean, it is science, no doubt about it. It's very scientific. The hard part is not getting caught. That's what I always wondered about, like, Drugs, Inc. Is, like, they, they always have the people on the show, they're in, like, you know, balaclavas and stuff like that. But they'll be rolling around town in a car with, like, a bunch of assault rifles in the back. Talking about how they're gonna, like, kill anybody that messes with them. And, like, I'm never gonna get caught. I'm gonna live forever. And I'm like, well, you should have said no to HBO then. Like, the first step in remaining incognito, in my opinion, would be, like, when Drugs Inc. comes around and is like, hey, can we profile, like, the exact way that your operation works? I would be like, no, I think. How did HBO find them? I mean, it's a, the whole thing is very suspicious. I saw one where there was a, the guy was actually, like, smuggling drugs over the border. And even though, like, the guy's face is obscured, you still feel like you gotta be kind of an idiot to let a film crew dictate the exact way that you're able to smuggle this stuff across the border. Because if all it takes is, like, somebody seeing that and being like, hey, we're gonna, like, plug this hole. It's just... just seems very short-sighted to me. So I always thought that, like, excuse me? I always thought that uh, Drugs, Inc. seemed like... I, I don't necessarily think it's fake, because I think HBO has better standards than, than that, as long as you ignore uh, Game of Thrones. Bet you wish you could have plugged your hole last week? It's not a joke. I, I definitely wish I could have plugged my hole last week, quite frankly. But I think... It, Kate told me there's, like, a Korean medicine that you can get, and it's, like, little black beads, basically. And when you drink them, it stops you from having, well, any bowel movement for a while. I don't know if it's like a psilocybium husk or whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> they were not anal beads, okay?